Good morning, class. In our last class, we have started the chapter, first chapter of inorganic chemistry, and that was the redox reaction. And we came to know about oxidation process. We also came to know about a reduction process. And after that, we have seen a redox reaction. So, a chemical reaction in which both oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously, we call it as a redox reaction. We have seen all that thing. Now today we are going to see a very important topic that is oxidation number and calculation of oxidation number. Oxidation number or oxidation state. Oxidation number or oxidation state of an atom in the combined state is the number of electrons it has gained or lost in becoming bonded to other element. So oxidation number or oxidation state is defined as the number of electrode that is gained or lost while forming a bond with other elements. Now, the general rules for the determination of oxidation number of an atom. So each and every atom has got their oxidation number. Now how to find out what will be the oxidation number of which elements? Okay. Now, uh, we have got certain rules that we have to keep in mind. Keeping in view the above two basic rules, the following general rules are employed for the calculation of oxidation number. Number one is oxidation number of an element in an uncombined state is zero. So if we have got an element in an uncombined state, that means if we have got only a single element, say for example if it is only H2, H2 is in uncombined state, so in that form oxidation number of hydrogen will be zero. For example, the oxidation number of sulfur in S8 is 0. Second, number 2, for simple ions, the oxidation number is equal to the ionic charge. So for simple ion, if it is positive or negative, it will be equal to the ionic charge. For example, the oxidation number of chlorine Cl- will be minus 1, the negative charge, while that of sulfur S2- will be minus 2, this charge. Number three, in all compounds formed by the combination of a metal with a non-metal, the oxidation number of the metal is always positive, while that of the non-metal is negative. So when you, we have got compounds which is formed by the combination of metals and non-metals, the oxidation number of metal is always a positive number, and the oxidation number of non-metal is a negative one. For example, in NaCl, sodium chloride, the oxidation number of sodium is plus 1 and that of chlorine is minus 1. Okay. Number 4. In a covalent compound, the atom with higher electronegativity is assigned negative state. So when you have got a covalent compound, then the atom which has got more electronegativity is assigned negative state first. Number 5. In all compounds, excepting Except ionic metal hydrides, the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1. So, in all other compounds except metal hydrides, like example sodium hydride, here the oxidation state of hydrogen is uh, minus 1. So, in all other compounds, it has hydrogen has got plus 1, except if you have got metallic hydrides, say for example sodium hydride, in this case, sodium is more electropositive it will become positive and this will become a negative so oxidation state of hydrogen is negative six the oxidation number of alkali metals in their compounds is plus one alkali metals means group one elements group one elements like uh, sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium all these have got oxidation state as plus one and alkaline earth metals group two elements like beryllium calcium uh, radium, barium, all this will have plus 2 oxidation state and oxidation number of aluminium in its compound is plus 3. Okay, So few oxidation number you need to remember. Number 7, the oxidation number of fluorine, the most electronegativity element is minus 1 in all its compound. So the oxidation number of fluorine is always minus 1 since it is most electronegative element. The oxidation number of other halogens in their compounds with hydrogen or metal is minus 1. Chlorine, bromine and iodine in their compounds with oxygen have positive oxidation number. 
the oxidation number of oxygen in almost all its compound is minus 2. So the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 except in peroxides Na2O2 they'll have other oxidation state or H2O2 okay so in Na2O2 the oxidation state of oxygen will minus 1 because Na will be plus 1 so for 2 it will be plus 2 so for this whole oxygen it will be minus 2 for monoxygen it will be minus 1 like that and uh, superoxide KO2, O2, F2, OF2 where oxygen has the oxidation number as minus 1, minus half, plus 1 and plus 2 respectively. And number 9, the algebraic sum of the oxidation number of all the atoms in a neutral molecule is 0. So if you have got a neutral molecule like say for example um, NaCl, so the oxidation number sum will be equal to zero okay in case of ion if you have got a positive or negative charge the sum of the oxidation number of all the atom will be equal to that charge so in an ion the algebraic sum is equal to the charge on the ion for example in ammonia the sum of the oxidation number of nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms is equal to zero in case of ammonium ion if you have got ammonium ion in h4 plus the sum of the oxidation number of nitrogen atom and four hydrogen atoms must be equal to one because it has got a charge positive charge one now how to calculate the oxidation number of the given element in a compound say for example let us find the oxidation state of manganese in this compound okay so the oxidation number that you need to find will assume at x let the oxidation number of m and b x now over here in KMnO4 we know the oxidation state of oxygen it is minus 2 and this is potassium which is the alkali metal it has got plus 1. Now we will form the algebraic expression say for example potassium has got plus 1 uh, manganese we need to find so x oxygen has minus 2. So what will the oxidation number of all atoms so potassium plus 1 and it has got 1 atom so 1 into 1 okay charge into number of atoms manganese x and we have got only one x into one oxygen we have got charge minus two and we have got four so minus two into four so all together this value when you simplify it will come as x minus seven okay x minus seven now this whole charge sum of the oxidation number according to the last rule according to the last rule that is mm, rule 9 the sum of the oxidation the algebraic sum of the oxidation number will be equal to 0 that means x minus 7 equals to 0 so when we find x plus uh, minus 7 will go other side and it becomes plus 7 so the value of x is coming as plus 7 so oxidation number of manganese in KMnO4 is plus 7 in a similar way you need to you can calculate the oxidation number of other elements so similarly assignment 20 for you based on the calculation of oxidation number calculate the oxidation number of the underlined element in the following molecules <coughs> underlined element in the following molecules one is h2so4 so you need to find for sulfur na2h2o3 you need to find for sulfur over here pf3 you need to find for b k2cr2o7 you need to find for chromium bro4 minus you need to find for br bromine Na3PO4 you need to find for phosphorus CrO42 minus you need to find for chromium and the last one HClO2 you need to find for chlorine so in a similar way how we have solved the previous uh, problem in finding the calculation of oxidation number you need to do the same and please complete it and send it in my mail